Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today. We don't have a review. Today is National Fragrance Day and I thought that I would just share with you guys my top 10 fragrances of all time from Bath & Body Works. Just like a fun like little video, you know, I thought I'd share like some of my favorite scents with you guys, give you guys like some recommendations and such. And actually the person who inspired me to kind of do this is so Justin Rhines, if you are watching this. Thank you. You inspired me to film this video. He actually like wished me a happy National Fragrance Day. He shared with me his top 10 scents. So I'm going to insert a photo of his top 10 scents on the screen. So yeah, he had Bonfire Bash, Saltwater Breeze, Snowflakes and Cashmere, Open Skies, Fireside Flurries, Fresh Getaway, White T-Shirt, Sunrise Woods, Sweather Weather, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So thank you, Justin, for sharing your top 10 with me. Um, yeah, again, you inspired me to film this video so thank you enough said without further ado let's jump in right into this video I just went into like my little collection and I picked out my top 10 favorite scents some of these are brand new because I do have backups of these scents so scent number one we have confetti daydream and this is oh my gosh one of my favorite scents of all time from Bath & Body Works this guy has notes of fresh raspberries sparkling pear and blue iris seriously such an amazing scent you guys if you guys haven't tried confetti daydream yet you are missing out I love this guy so much and this is from last year I believe last year's packaging this year's looks pretty much the exact same I think it's just like a little more purple, but I love this one so much seriously such an amazing scent scent number two We have Magnolia charm and Magnolia charm. I think might be coming back I'm not exactly sure but the notes in this one are dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar Graceful blooms burst signaling the first sign of spring creamy white petals blended with sweetly scented sunshine and nature's promise of the season to come oh my gosh it's such a nice clean fresh type of spring scent Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And the packaging is just so springy too. Up next, we have Open Sky. And Open Sky got released this last like end of summer. This guy has notes of fresh air, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. My goodness, Open Sky is so freaking good. This is such a great August scent. So during the summer, I like to go camping a lot with like friends and stuff. We'll go for like a night or two nights like up in the canyon. And this guy is amazing. I love to have it. I I love the packaging on it. It's just so summery and just gives me camping vibes for sure. So I do recommend the scent to you guys. It's just super fresh and clean. Up next, we have Endless Weekend, which Endless Weekend is one of my ride or die scents. I love the scent to death. It's seriously so freaking good, you guys. This is the scent that got me into Bath & Body Works. Endless Weekend, you introduced me into like the whole fragrance game. So this is always gonna be like my number one for sure. I love you so much. Yeah, this is like one of like the OG type of packaging. I do have it in like the more recent ones, but this is my ride or die. Up next, we also have Sweather Weather, and this is a packaging that came out a couple years ago. As you can see, it's we've used quite a bit, you guys. I love this one so much. One of my favorite packagings, too. This guy has notes of sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it's just so good, you guys. This is like a perfect unisex type of scent too, so anybody can rock this. Little Black Party Dress. What an amazing scent we have right here, you guys. The perfect going out type of scent. Um, this guy has notes of frosted nectarine, black peony, and white patchouli. Flirty and fabulous at the stroke of midnight. True statement right there. I also have Bonfire Bash, and Bonfire Bash is amazing too, you guys. All of these scents are amazing, and I'm gonna probably say this for like the next, or the last, three fragrances too. Um, vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. Oh my gosh. If you want to smell like a nice toasted marshmallow, this is the shit right here, you guys. Ugh, so good. Perfect summer scent, perfect fall scent. It seriously works year round, if I'm being completely honest. Like... Oh, so good. I love the body butter in this. I apply it almost every single night. Amazing. Oh, the baby. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so old. I'm so sorry. Hi. You're just going to chill here? Okay. Then we have In the Stars, and In the Stars has Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Argar Wood, and Radiant Amber. What a great nighttime scent, too. 
I love this one so much. And I normally use In The Stars when I'm going to bed. And so like I'll get showered and everything and I just wanna like spritz myself with something nice and In The Stars is the shit for me, like so good. And then these last two fragrances, I would say is pretty much tied with Endless Weekend. Okay, if I'm gonna say my top three fragrances, it's gonna be Endless Weekend, then we have Boardwalk Taffy and Firecracker Pop. My goodness, Firecracker Pop is gonna be my summer scent again this year. It was my summer scent last year. Um, we have notes of red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. Oh my gosh, like, it, I don't know what it is about it, but I love it so freaking much, you guys. Like, I'm literally obsessed with Firecracker Pop. And then same with Boardwalk Taffy, obsessed with it. This one has spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Like, these two, like, these three scents are literally tied for first place. Love them so much. But yeah, Firecracker Pop, like, I don't know. Like, like I try to just only wear this during the summertime, but I have to sneak myself a little spritz here and there to, you know, feed, feed my addiction to it. So yeah guys, those were my top 10 fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely comment down below your top 10 fragrances because I want to know. And again, happy National Fragrance Day to our little fragrance community. Anyways, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye guys. I just don't want this, I just don't want this moment to end.